What's going on? It's YG, the director, one half of Painfully Into Visual. I'm a director, DP, and cinematographer based out of Atlanta, Georgia. And today we're going to talk about The Handsome Pro. If you're not familiar with The Handsome Pro, it's a plug in for Premiere, Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve, Lightroom and a bunch of other apps. So I haven't tried that stuff. I've only tried the Premiere Pro version. So anything that I say is based on just my experience with Premiere Pro. The hands that did not influence any of my opinions. They actually want you to be honest so they can make the software even better, right? So this is just my take on the software and my experience in the few weeks that I had. Like I said earlier, I'm a director and a DP. I'm not a professional colorist. So when the hands of Pro reached out to me, I thought about Maybe it would be cool to see what somebody who's not a professional colorist can do with the software. This is not a tutorial of how to use the Hanson Pro the best way. I only had it for a few weeks, but this is just showing you what an average Joe could do in about 10 to 15 minutes with the software. I think I was able to get some great results. There are certain things that I always like to see in film, like the halation, like the bloom. For years, I just didn't understand what it was. I didn't know how to how to categorize it, didn't know exactly how to explain it to people. So when I was trying to explain to people that would be assisting me with coloring, but when I try to color myself, I just didn't know what I was looking for. This plugin makes it a whole lot easier because once you put it onto your film, you have so many different characteristics that you can change. You have the halation that you can dial in how you want it. You have the balloon to dial in how you want it. You have 63 different film stocks. So even if you have no clue how to explain what you're looking for to somebody, if you tie with those 63 film stocks, you may find a starting point that gets you closer to where you're trying to be. And every single film stock has so much you can tweak and, and adjust. It's like having way more than 63. So if you get in there and you play around, you'll definitely be able to create some cinematic images, real film looking stuff like the Hollywood movies. As an indie filmmaker, one of my biggest challenges was trying to make my footage look like what I saw on a big screen. Like everyone else, I searched on YouTube. I watched a bunch of videos that I was blowing the face. Some of the tools they gave work, most of them didn't work. So when I got the Handsome Pro, started to mess around with some of their features, I started to get a way better understanding of why Hollywood movies look the way they do. And it's not just because of the huge budgets, it's the information, it's the know-how. It's these little things that I just didn't understand, like Halatia, like Bloom, like Felgrain, like the vignette. This film breath, all these different characteristics that give you a unique look that makes your film way more cinematic. Some of these examples that you're looking at right now are made in five to 10 minutes or less. You have all these classic film stocks that were used back when we first started enjoying film. Now you can apply it to red footage, you can apply it to Sony footage, you can apply it to black magic footage and give those characteristics specifically to your color space. So let me wrap this up, right? I think that the Hanson Pro is an amazing plugin. I think it's really for anybody who just wants to get better or shorten their time or just try different stuff they may not know how to do. It's right at your fingertips now with the Hanson Pro. So I think it's worth the money. I think it's worth the time, the, the, the interest to look into it. I don't think you can go wrong by purchasing the software. That's just my take. I'm gonna enjoy the Hanson Pro. I guess I'm still a newbie at it. I plan on getting better. I look forward to getting better at it and, and upping my color grading skills and bringing more cinematic images to life. And on that note, we're out of here.